folks. Well, here's how we found it. It's obviously a structural failure here. Perhaps we can trust this. I don't know. Anyway, the dinghy is secured. You know, I never got around to finish telling you guys what happened with the davits. We ended up with both davits failing in the same place. The rear davit was the one holding the weight with the outboard and all. The front davit failed shortly thereafter. In talking to Jim Baden, the arch guy, he told me that if there was going to be a failure, the davits failed where he suspected they would. He came down to the marina to assess the damage and remove the davits, and then he proceeded to redesign them to be much stronger. When we first hired Jim, we didn't give him any specific designs. We thought we'd leave that to him. He was the expert. We told him how much our dinghy weighed and how much the outboard weighed. We told him we wanted davits that could handle the weight while taking a wave into the dinghy without failing. As with all custom work, sometimes everything works out and sometimes you have to make changes. We don't blame Jim. Everything on a boat's custom, so these things will happen. Jim designed and fabricated the new davits and installed them without a problem. The new design is a foot shorter, bringing the skiff closer to the stern, and the truss is the same diameter of steel as the main davit. They look really strong. As of this video, the davit Davits have worked flawlessly, as has the arch the gym has designed for us. Much stronger and no flexing, so we're really stoked. 